Welcome back. As you know, I'm not here today, but I didn't want to leave Mrs. Bush hanging. So uh, I'm going to run through our two techniques for graphing linear equations, and then as part of our assignment today, we're going to be practicing this. We first learned how to graph lines with standard form. In particular, we use the intercepts. Remember, C over A and C over B? Well, here we have an equation written in standard form. 2x plus 6y equals 18. And uh, I'm going to graph this using the intercepts. A is 2, B is 6, C is 18. So the x-intercept is C divided by A, which is 18 divided by 2. We know that's 9. We place a nice big dot on x equals 9. The y-intercept is C over B, which is 18 divided by 6. 18 divided by 6, we know is 3. I put a big old dot on y equals 3. And then, as best I can, I draw a nice, long, straight line that goes from edge to edge through these two points. And, yeah, I know. I don't have a straight edge on my iPad. Uh, if I touch it more than one place, it'll give me the business. But pretend this line is straight. And notice I draw it from edge to edge. I put arrows on the end, and it goes through my two points. Uh, use your imagination. It is a line. But remember, the idea is we do C over A to get this dot. We do C over B. To get this dot, we draw the line, and we're out of here. Now, the other strategy we learned was using the slope and the y-intercept. And we get that information from an equation that's written in slope-intercept form. The number here by the x is the slope, and the number here all by itself is the y-intercept. You can see our y-intercept is negative 5, and that tells us that we need to put a big old dot on negative 5. And since the slope is 4, we treat that as 4 over 1. And from that starting point, we're going to go up 4 and over 1, and we'll make our second dot. But because making that slope step is so much fun, I'm going to do it again and again and again. Go up 4, and over 1, put another dot. Go up 4, and over 1, and put another dot. And then eventually, as you can see, I run off the screen. And then through all of these dots, I'm going to draw, again, a nice long line that hits the dots, arrows at both ends, edge to edge on my graph. That one was quite a bit straighter because I had more dots to gauge my line from. So, in a nutshell, we've learned two ways to get a picture of a linear equation. In standard form, we use the intercepts. In slope-intercept form, we plot the y-intercept and then use the rise over run from the slope to make the other points. We can get a line either way. And now we just need to practice. The key to all of this math stuff is just practice. And since you're, I'm not here to hear you whine, uh, I'm going to say it again. Practice, practice, practice. Mrs. Bush, take it away.